the basement of La Penta. This is WICR. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Sports Vault. Jersey Joe, Big Shot Rob, and Armand Medeo here for an episode of the Sports Vault. I don't know if the world is ready for what might come out of this segment, but let's give it a shot. The NBA playoffs are here. Saturday and Sunday, we've got the action starting up again. Cannot contain my excitement. LeBron James back in it for me. But let's start off, folks. We're going to pick the get to the finals, tell you who we think is going to make it there. Let's start off with the Western Conference. And a little credit to Big Shot Rob, Armand, because we did our Radiothon show during Halloween time, and he said on the air New Orleans was going to get that eighth spot. They got that eighth spot. Rob, are you? Uh, do you have the, those psychic powers you always talk to us about? Um no, I, I'm gonna. Okay. They only. Army it on the air right now. I, I'm gonna say right now the Pelicans only made it though because Kevin Durant was out the that's whole year. That's why. That, that's, that's the only reason. That's why we're why seeing them in the playoffs. Yeah, that's why exactly. But still, but, uh, I mean, I still got the pick though. Rob, you did. Yourself, you got it right. Yeah, exactly. Give yourself <laughs> some credit, Rob. But in this series, guys, I'm sure. Look, Golden State. They've been the best team all year. Best offensively. I'm sure both of you are probably taking them in this series. Oh, most definitely. Especially, we look at practice the other day with Steph Curry. 77 straight three-pointers, Joe. 94 out of 100. And when him and Klay Thompson just hit shots, nobody stops that team. Because it's just an all-shooting team. That sh team could pull up from anywhere. And you know what? New Orleans is just does not stand a chance whatsoever. I, I don't know. I think New Orleans are going to run for the money. I think Gold State's going to win, but don't take this series lightly. The return of Drew Holiday, Drew Holiday is a stellar, stellar defender in the backcourt. He could, I mean, it's hard to stop Stephen Curry, but he could compete with Stephen Curry. And, you know, down low, they're pretty big. Azik and uh, Davis, I mean, if they play smart and play to their bigs, they, they have a shot. I mean, you go into that situation, mm -hmm. Curry versus Drew Holiday, great matchup. Yeah. But we've seen what Curry's done to Chris Paul this year. Curry yeah. has taken Chris, over yeah. Chris Paul's games a couple times. So I don't know if – I'm giving Curry the advantage at this point. And, yes, you go to the down low, you have Anthony Davis. Davis is going to have a great mm -hmm. series. But you still got to worry for David Lee and Andrew Bogut. Those are still two big guys on Golden State's roster that you have to battle each game. Yeah, but David Lee can't match up with Anthony Davis. And he's been getting a lot less minutes. Steve Kerr, I don't think, really has... A, yeah, he doesn't believe He hasn't him. been able to fit him in, really. I, I'm kind of more with Rob, though. I think, look, can the Pelicans make it kind of interesting? Maybe, but I just think... I don't know. I just haven't seen that consistent form all yet. I love Anthony Davis. As long as he's on your team, you always have a chance somewhere. But uh, I think I'm going to. No, yeah, I'm going to go and say too. I'm just saying you gotta watch yeah. out. No, it'll be. I mean, look, that's It'll be a good, good series. Thing is, I mean, when you we look at what happened last year with the amount of game sevens that we had, I honestly think that we could get something similar this year. I mean, when you just look at the level of competition everywhere, it's very possible that it's going to be that brutal stretch like it was there. But let's move on, because I know Armand has a lot uh -oh. to say about this. But we're all agreed, Golden State moving on against New Orleans. Portland and Memphis. Armand, I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to leap it right to you. <laughs> Portland and Memphis. Now, Portland, I mean, the loss of Wesley Matthews is going to definitely affect the series. But the Memphis Grizzlies have reserved Vince Carter's minutes all year long. Vince Carter, when it comes to the playoffs, I know he's a 39-year-old man. No, 38. I'm sorry. But Vince Carter is going to play big minutes. He's going to play around 24 minutes, and he's going to help Jeff Green in the backcourt, and they're going to go to him in late situations. You watch and see. Memphis will get it done. They're going to win in five. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to agree with that. It's gonna. I'm going to go Memphis in six, but you know what? You go to the Vince Carter point. He's been injured all year. So he's well-rested. Yeah. You compare it to the New York Rangers when Henrik Lundqvist went down, and now Lundqvist for going for the Cup this year. Now, you get Vince Carter back. Vince Carter is one of the best postseason players. I've seen him with the, what he's done with the Mavericks last year. The guy hits big shots. Yes. And that's somebody who I think could come off the bench. You know what? They did reserve his minutes early this year. And you know what? You let him play now. This team's going to be on a roll. You have Marcus Gasol still. You have Zach Randolph. Definitely a team to watch. Definitely. I think I'm with you guys. I mean, look, I think it's going to be a really competitive series. Could go seven games in my mind. I mean, the one thing I am a little worried about is LaMarcus Aldridge. I think if he was 
I might lean more towards Portland. And, and the interesting thing is, even with the injury he has, it really hasn't doesn't look like it's really affected his form all that much. But I think Memphis is a team that's so tough to play. I mean, they wear you down so much because they have the size that they have. Randolph, Gasol, I love Mike Conley. He's really gotten better at each playoffs. I just think it's such a brutal, it's going to be a grind, and I'm going to give Memphis that edge in that grind, but it should be fun. That, that's we a will great see point, too. If Armand's boy, Vince Carter, can show up. Yeah. He certainly did last year. Yeah, going back to what you said, they have a lot of size, and that's why I think they went after players like Vince Carter and Jeff Green in these situations who can stretch the floor. Yeah, Green was a great pickup yeah. for them, especially when you get to a situation here. I mean, they did that Green trade for this moment now, exactly. and I think it's going to pay off for them. Now, this next series is one that is really interesting. San Antonio against the Clippers. I, I think we're all kind of like expected at the beginning of the season, is this the end for San Antonio? It seems like it never is the end for San Antonio. <laughs> Do you guys have them moving on? Oh, I do. Uh, I'm taking San Antonio. You know what, Joe? We look at it. They moved from like 7 to 2 just a couple weeks ago. I mean, you take away a couple losses, and that's the only reason why they're down at 6. This Clippers team, they're going to beat them. The Clippers, yes, you know what? They're a great team. Don't get me wrong. They have Blake Griffin, but they never prove themselves come playoff time. And San Antonio just has that experience over the years with Popovich. For all these players coming back, and that experience is just going to beat the Clippers right there. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. The Clippers remind me of the the Rocket team for the mid two thousands with Tracy yeah, McGrady and Yao Ming. They would win fifty five games every year, and then it comes to playoff time, they just lose in the first round every year. I mean, and that's all I'm gonna say. I mean, and they're playing San Antonio, the best postseason team since the late nineties. So. What can I say? San Antonio in five. Man, we are all agreed again. There's no question. And one thing that really, I just don't think that the Clippers have the mental composure to really oh. beat the Spurs. I mean, when things start going against them, oh my God, you <laughs> watch Chris Paul, you watch DeAndre Jordan, you watch Barnes. This is not a team that has that that mental toughness to really grind it out. We know the Spurs are going to frustrate you. They do everything so perfectly. They move the ball so perfectly. They do everything on the defensive end perfectly. They're going to get frustrated very easily. The Spurs have finished the season on such a high note. I'm with you. I think they really easily get out of it. Another big disadvantage in that series, too, is the bench. San Antonio's bench, I mean, they have shooters yeah. everywhere. The Clippers bench rely on people like Austin Rivers. Yeah, that's Besides Jamal Crawford, that's it. <laughs> usually not a good thing when you have to count yeah. on Austin Rivers. And now the final one, Armand's team last year, he's jumped the <laughs> ship with his boy Vince Carter. The Houston Rockets and the Dallas Mavericks. Guys, who are you k- taking here? I am going, you guys are going to go against me, but I am going with the Dallas Mavericks in seven. Yes, the team has struggled this year. Rajon Rondo has not been a great fit. But I think come postseason, Rondo could really help guide this team. And, I mean, you look at it, you have Tyson Chandler back. When they had that big championship run, Tyson Chandler was a huge defensive piece. And I think he'll be able to hold down Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard isn't an efficient player. He, he isn't the Dwight Howard from the Orlando Magic where he was the only person on the team who could do everything. He can't play with other guys, and that's his biggest problem. And Tyson's going to shut him down, no problem. The big thing is, Dirk Nowitzki is going to have to step up big time in this series. He's going to have to put up at least 20 points a game. He can't have his regular season results of about 16 to 18 points. Got to put up at least 20 to 25 points a game, and they could definitely win this series. You know what, Rob? For once, I can say I agree with you on something. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Dallas Mavericks are going to win seven. My reasons for this is that the difference is going to become is going to come down to free throws. Dwight Howard and Josh Good Smith point. play ample minutes. Both of them shoot under 60% from the line. So if they're going to be playing over 30 minutes a game, both of them, while Dirk and Tyson Chandler are both effective shooters, and they could, Dallas just goes eye for eye, score for score with the Rockets, no problem. So I think free throws are really going to be a reason why the Houston Rockets lose the series. I think it's a really good point, and I think this is a really competitive series. And one thing, too, is James Harden has definitely not – earned his reputation on being a good postseason player last year against Portland didn't do anything the year before that really didn't do much I mean he really hasn't been that dominant player we've seen in the regular season in the postseason and he's going to be the one who's going to have to put a lot on his shoulders and I agree with you Dwight Howard is just doesn't affect the game away enough from the basket now I'm going with Houston here. I just I, I haven't watched as a ton of Dallas. I'm with you. I think having Chandler back is huge and they have every reason that they could really win this series. But part of me 
just kind of has that feeling in my gut. That's all I can really go with here. But let's get on to the next side. So we both have, we all have Golden State, and they're going to be taking on Memphis in that next region. Who would you have in that potential matchup? I'm taking Memphis in that one. Well, over Golden State, I, wow. I'm taking Memphis. Golden State, no matter how hot that team is, they're a team that won and done in this playoffs they're not a team that goes the distance whatsoever this Dallas, this uh memphis team i just feel they have a lot of big men you have to go up against yes you know what we look to golden state's point they got thompson and curry and they're going to have a big advantage in that series from the outside but going down low randolph and gasola are going to have the bigger advantage down low david lee's not going to match up great against them andrew bogut's not going to match up great against them and that's why i'm giving it to memphis in this series i'm gonna go with memphis in uh six I agree with Rob. I mean, the size is a real big issue here. I think in a series like this, Memphis is going to try and bring Golden State to the defensive side of the ball. They're going to keep them under 100 points a game, which is going to be hard to do. But you're going to see someone like Tony Allen play very, very key and uh, pivotal minutes in a series like this to deal with someone like Clay Thompson. And Michael Conley is a lockdown defender, too. So I think Memphis is going to try and change Golden State's identity. I think it's going to help favor them. Wow. I'm a, I'm a little different from you guys here. I think, again, Memphis, like I was saying before, they're really difficult to play against in a seven-game series because they just wear you down so heavily because of the size, because of how good they are defensively. But I think at the end of the day, this series against Golden State and Memphis is probably going to come down to the speed, the pace of the game. I just think when Golden State starts getting their pace, playing the rhythm that they want to, I just think then the offense starts opening up. Guys start getting good looks at the basket. When that offense starts clicking and getting in rhythm and they push that speed and that tempo and you take the, all this, the, the depth they have on the bench with like Iguodala coming off the bench, I just think it's probably going to be too much for Memphis to handle offensively now. I have no concerns what they can do on the defensive side, and they've definitely gotten better on the offensive side. But I just think Golden State, there's a reason that they're the best team in the league in scoring. I just think they're at a different level there in terms of their pace. So we're a little different there, but let's see if we can come back in the next bracket. You, We both have the San Antonio Spurs. You guys have Dallas taking on the Spurs. Who do you have in that matchup? San Antonio. It's just... Joe, experience. That San Antonio team could beat Dallas single-handedly. Yes, you know what? Dallas is going to have a great run versus Houston, but nobody is being San Antonio. We're going to be seeing them to the conference finals yet again with the Western Conference. Joe, this is going to be a sweep. One reason why is because Dallas made a horrible decision in the whole season. <laughs> they sent the reason why they even gave the Spurs – and he challenged last year. They sent away Vince Carter. It's true. It's Without Vince Carter, true. they ain't going to even get a win against the Spurs. I'm with you. I mean, I have Houston but in coming out against Dallas, but I just have San Antonio beating them anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Clearly, Mark Cuban was too preoccupied with Shark Tank in the offseason, <laughs> not uh, you know, beating the Spurs really in the playoffs. It really is amazing. I mean, when you look at how good Vince Carter was for them, he's as valuable he found the as fountain of youth. team. He found 2001, I'm telling he you. He absolutely found that, and you, hopefully he can call in our show and tell us where to find oh, it. Oh, I wish. Alan. Vince, call me. Call me, man. I've waited 20 years. It. We don't know where it is. We <laughs> will find it, though. All right, guys, so let's do a little recap here then. In the in the Western Conference Finals, you guys would have the Memphis Grizzlies playing the San Antonio Spurs. I would have the Golden State Warriors playing the San Antonio Spurs. Since you two have the same one, you guys take the floor first. Who's getting to the NBA Finals out of the West? We'll say, we'll say it together. One, two, three, Spurs. Grizzlies. Whoa. This is the year that the Grizzlies are going to overcome and beat the San Antonio I Spurs. I Rob's just trying to make me – Rob's trying to get on my good side today. <laughs> Rob, I understand. I know Vince is on Memphis. No, no, to... no. This is the year the Grizzlies. They've taken it enough from San Antonio, and this team is finally going to beat them. I'm sorry. I mean, I want to see it. I really do because I – These guys, <laughs> San Antonio's guys, are going to be tired throughout this whole series. Listen to me. They're going down. I'm telling you right now, Memphis in six. Wow. Rob's calling it, Rob. Armand. What Rob, do you I have hope to it's say? one of those Pelican things. I mean, I hope that's you're... what I'm saying is he picked the Pelicans right, so he might be right. I hope Armand. your glimpse into the future is right again, yet, yeah, Rob. I'm with you too, though, Armand. I'm picking the Spurs. I just think <sighs> at the end of the day, 
I've kind of learned that <laughs> never against pick <laughs> against the Spurs. Just don't do it. Like, don't that even if when you have the doubt in the back of your head, don't do it. Pick the Spurs. It's the safe thing to do. They're probably going to find a way to get it done. Every time you doubt them, they come back against you. I'm going with the Spurs getting back for a third trip in a row to the NBA Finals. I just want to say one more thing. Rob, if you are correct about this Memphis Grizzly thing, I – it is a proven fact you are psychic, and we are going to any local deli or store in the tri-state area, and we're picking out Powerball tickets, and you're picking out the numbers. <laughs> I think that's a fair, if the safe thing. Uh, uh, Rob, do we have you to sign up for that with us? Oh, I'm down. All right. <laughs> it sounds good. See, we're, we're all friendly here. Well, very good stuff. Big Shot Rob has the Memphis Grizzlies going to the NBA Finals out of the West. Armand and I are both with the San Antonio Spurs. Stay with us. We will be back with our Eastern Conference predictions, and I'd be honest right now folks i'm a cavalier fan so i'm p- kind of just going to preface that with that i think you know where i'm joe thinking. everyone's picking cleveland let's just say that you should if you're a smart man you will pick the cleveland cavalier. vegas already has them too so vegas is very smart the smartest people in the world as my dad always says are in las vegas on that note though stay with us and we will be right back